Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my recent reading wrap up. Now look, okay, I'm not going to be jumping on this fucking camera sitting here saying that I've read like 53 books this month, like some YouTubers do. Like that ain't it, okay? I don't have a huge stack saying, oh, recently I read 125 books. I'm not in the position in my life to be jumping on camera every three weeks or so and saying I've recently read 118 books. No, no, my reading wrap up is very small, but whatever, it is what it is. No pressure doll. Just because I'm not reading 20 books a week does not mean I'm not a solid romance reader, okay? I have four books I wanna talk about today, two I didn't like, two I did like. Some of these books you recommended to me, some of them are quite popular, so we're just going to talk about it. Before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, honey? Uh, come join the fan band. It's a great old time over here. Uh, and if you like this video and you want to see these more frequent and you don't mind that there is a small amount of books, not an you know, obnoxiously large amount of books, give this video a thumbs up, okay? That helps me out so much. Without further ado, baby boo, let's get into it. I am sweating, bitch. I'm sweating today. It's cold today. It's like gray skies and raining. I'm so fucking over winter. Like, bye, bitch. I want you gone. I'm here for spring. My baby's going to be here. I'm going to be not pregnant anymore. And the sun will be out. And I'll be getting that D. Vitamin D, bitch. Not the other D. Anyway, I have my heater on. It's fucking blaring. I think it's like 25 degrees in here. And I'm sweating. But I'm not getting up to turn it off. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> Okay, so I've scooted over so we can insert the image right here of the cover. Now, the first book I want to talk about is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. So, I was recommended this months and months ago. It's been on my TBR and pretty much at the top of my TBR for quite some time. I've seen so many people on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube talk about this book. Everyone loves it. Um, and when I was told that this was quite dark, the context in this book is quite dark. I thought I would be joining the gang, you know what I mean, with enjoying it. Funnily enough, I didn't really like it, which I was quite surprised by. So this is kind of like an enemies to lovers situation with a dark, dark twist. So this is a dark romance, but this girl who has this like nemesis type of relationship going on with her sister's fiance. Their, their relationship kind of reminds me of a sibling relationship in a sense where like you're constantly picking on one another and just like taking the piss type of thing. But the difference is with these two, they very much dislike one another. Well, for me personally, I feel like at the beginning of the book, she was the one that more so disliked him rather than him disliking her. They're out for dinner one night. I believe it's her sister's birthday, something or other is happening. And she ends up calling her sister's fiance and is like, hey, can you come pick me up? He had already left earlier, so he comes to pick her up from this restaurant because she's had a few drinks and she can't drive home. When he arrives to pick her up, there is a situation that goes down and they're both kidnapped. So they spend quite a long time together captive. Uh, this creepy man kidnapped them, kept them in like a dungeon and made them experience and witness some things together. Obviously with the two of them experiencing this type of trauma, uh, there was a bond that was created. So when they get out of this situation and they enter life, they're completely different people now. They've gone through something together that no one else understands. Her feelings have changed towards him and his feelings have changed towards her sister, his fiance. Now, I did like their relationship to a certain extent. And the reason why I didn't like thoroughly enjoy this and thought fucking this is amazing was the way that they kind of, and it wasn't really the sister, it was more so Dean, I think the main character's name is, how he kind of looked at their relationship and like the total disregard for the sister, like his fiance, like this might be a little bit spoilery. I'll try not to spoil too much but I just want to kind of like explain why I didn't like it as much as what I thought I was going to you know he was engaged to be married and then he ends up falling for the little sister she has feelings for him as well but she's kind of like I don't want to acknowledge them we can't go there you're going to marry my sister what happened happened I'm grateful that I had you in that situation and I wasn't on my own lines just cannot be blurred like that now where he's all for going after her and being with her. When I was reading it, I was just like, 
what the fuck? You have no like care factor for your fiance, the sister. Um, and no, this relationship isn't going to go smoothly. I understand why these two characters fell for each other, but I just didn't like how the main hero didn't really care about his fiance. He cared, but he just didn't show enough care factor in my personal opinion. I only rated this three stars and that's pretty bad for me. I am really generous with my star ratings. I've gotten a lot better now. And to be honest, I probably should have rated this too because I've liked other stories better than this that I've rated three stars. There was just something about this that I was just like, mm, I'm not in it, I'm not in it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not swooning. I liked the dark aspect of this book. There was just something with the hero that just wasn't clicking, bitch. Okay, it just wasn't clicking and I wasn't down for it. So I read the first book from the Madison Kate series by Tate James. I read this on Audible. Well, I listened to it, I should say. Um, and wow, this is slow. I like it. I can see the potential. I pushed through the first book because I know that there's so much hype behind this series, but this is a me thing. It's not anything to do with the author. The way my pregnancy brain is, the way I am right now, how I'm reading, my reading kind of taste at the moment is just not built for like a four book series about a reverse harem that was written at the speed that this was. I love the heroine, like Madison Kate is a bad bitch. I loved the boys. I can see the chemistry, I can see the potential, and I know that when I do end up reading this entire series, that I probably will like it. At the moment, it just wasn't what I needed, wasn't what I wanted, and I really struggled getting through the first book. I think I rated this three stars too. Um, Will I come back to it? Absolutely. As I just said, I feel like once I'm not pregnant anymore and my brain is just like not, you know, preoccupied with everything that's going on, I will be able to enjoy this. Um, so I will give it another go. It just didn't hit the fucking spot. You know how some books you just really want them to go there? Uh, this one just didn't quite go there for me. And yeah. Next book, I absolutely love. I read this last week. Well, I read it and I listened to it on Audible. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me already talk about this. But my friend Audrey on Instagram, she's a bookstagrammer and she has a YouTube channel. I'll link her down below. You can check her out. Um, she is also pregnant at the same time and she's been going through like this weird reading slump like I have, like on and off this entire pregnancy. She messaged me the other day and she was like, you need to read this book. It's giving me no tomorrow by Carrie and Cole vibes. Now, that is one of my favorite standalones. You guys would know that if you follow all my videos and it's one of Audrey's favorite uh, books as well. So as soon as she said that, I was like, sold. Put it on the top of my TBR. I like looked it up and it was like 600 pages and I was like, what the fuck, bitch? Like I cannot do this. Like I can't read like a 600 page book right now with this pregnancy brain. Um, but what I decided to do was to get it on Audible. So the first 20% I was kind of listening to it. And a lot of the times with Audible, when I'm listening to a book, I'm not really like taking in what I'm listening to. That's why I don't listen to books often. I noticed with this one, like I was doing some stuff around the house and something had happened. And then I was like, bitch, what did he do? And then I realized like I was really invested in this story. So the book I'm talking about is The Words by A. Jade. She's also known as Ashley Jade. I think she publishes under both of those. But this is so fucking good. It does give No Tomorrow vibes from Carrie and Cole. The writing is different and the story isn't as deep. But it definitely gives you that rock star type of um, feel where the hero, the rock star, is damaged and has like deep issues. And the one thing that I absolutely loved about this book was the fact that the heroine was a plus size. Well, I wouldn't say plus size, but she was a curvier girl who struggled with her body image. And the way that Ashley wrote that character was so realistic. I'll just give you a little bit of an insight on what the book is about. It's about this girl who's in high school. She is a bigger woman. She struggles with her weight and she's not popular. She gets bullied all the time for the way that she looks. And she gets picked by her English teacher to tutor one of the popular guys. And he's that typical bad boy that has that kind of rock star look about 
about him. He's rough around the edges, comes from a trailer park, and his home life is far from perfect. A friendship blossoms and blooms between the two of them that is just so magical, so much chemistry. Oh my god, I loved the beginning of this book because it was set in high school and I just loved the dynamic between the two. There is a time jump in this book um, because there's some conflict that happens and then we jump into the future where this hero is now a rock star, a really well-known famous rock star. So good, like this was a four star read. I would have actually read it at five stars but I did find it to be a little bit too long. I feel like it could have been wrapped up before the 600 pages. Towards the end I was getting a little bit tired of the story so I didn't give it a five star read but it was just one of those books that like as soon as I stopped reading I was thinking about it. I had to jump on Instagram and talk about it. I just finished this the other day. All Grown Up by Vikiland. V Killen, I know this is an old school romance. I have had this on my mental TBR since 2020, like the beginning of 2020. Uh, I believe this was like released in 2019 and I know a lot of people have already read this. It is quite popular because it's one of the very few romances that are an age gap between a younger man and an older woman. Now this isn't my particular favorite trope. I say that though, but every time I read an age gap where the woman is older, I fucking love it. Like I really, really like it. And this one just gave me like summer vibes, steamy young man after the MILF. Like I, I just loved it. When you read things like this, like a younger man desiring an older woman who's had kids and stuff, it makes you feel good. So this is about this woman who recently divorced her husband. I believe it's been like 18 months to almost two years since the divorce went through and she's still not back in the dating game yet. And her best friend who is a hoot of a time, like she's such a good side character, is encouraging her to get out there and to have sex and flirt with men and just go have some fun and feel yourself and just get into it and just get back on the dating scene. She ends up going onto this website that is like a dating website and she finds this dude and they end up talking. She finds out his age and she's just like, no way. I'm 38 years old. I'm not going on a date with a 25 year old, but he ends up convincing her. And when she goes on this date with this young man, she figures out that they used to be neighbors when he was a kid. She has a summer vacation house and his family had one too. And he actually used to babysit her now grown son. As soon as she figures out who this man is, she's like, oh, I cannot, I cannot go there. You used to babysit my son. But this man, this young 25 year old man who is successful, who is steamy, who is sexy, um, doesn't want to take no for an answer. And is convinced that they're meant to be together. So he continues to uh, pursue her and try and change her mind. I loved it, man. I love this book. I rated it three stars because it's not a book that I am still thinking about now that I've finished it. It's a book that I enjoyed in that moment at that time. It was fast paced, easy to read and consume. I didn't have to think too hard. Uh, I had flutters, good conflict, good banter. It made me giggle. Like I liked it. it. Just summer, good, sexy, smutty vibes. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely not like my favorite book I've ever read. And I do have age gap romances between a younger man and an older woman that I do prefer over this one. But this is definitely like pool boy vibes by Nikki Sloan, Between Us by Cheyenne Sierra vibes and I'm here for it and I did like it. They're all the books that I've recently read. I know four books, bitch, like pick up your game. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I also have enjoyed reading these books and really like zoning out and like disconnecting from social media while like reading these books because I've taken all the pressure off. Like I used to put so much pressure on myself to read as much as I can for content. I'm not doing that now. The past couple of books that I've read because I've done that have been so much fun. Just so much fun. So yeah, I'm still reading now. I started a new book the other day. I've got a few more that I want to read and hopefully we can do another wrap up in the next few weeks type of thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hopefully you haven't read these. If you have, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't read them, go pick them up, especially The Words by AJ. That's probably my favorite out of this little wrap up here. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go have a nap. I'm so tired. I hope you guys have a good day wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.